Wonderful contestants who have sent in their videos. We requested, you know, 60 seconds of explaining why you need love. So we're going to dive in to these wonderful women. We have all different kinds, shapes, shades. So, we got so this is Jazz. Let's see what we got going on. Hi, how is everyone doing? So I'm just submitting a video. Um, I'm just going to be ready for love. So just to give you a little bit of information about myself, I am 37. I have a great job. I work for the fire department as a EMT and also as a communication supervisor. Um, I have a great side business called Alleyway Secrets, Alleyway Secrets and More. Uh, I do not have any kids yet. Okay. Oh, listen. Beautiful teeth. She's uh, she's beautiful, period. Yeah, I mean, nice little brown skin. Yeah, her aura is everything. Yeah. Like she got it going on, got a nice job and a side business. Yeah. Okay, independent. Yeah. So yeah. we have K somehow, some way I have. Okay, here we go. So uh, <laughs> bear with me because this is something different. I've never experienced anything like this or done anything like this. Uh, my name's Rodney LaKay. I probably should have started with that. I'm 32. 60 seconds on why I need love. Uh, To be honest, I don't need it. I don't need it, but it's something I very much desire. Something I very much want. Because the universe has so much to offer me. Like, And who wants to share in that alone? I want a partner. I want a best friend. I want to ride or die. I want somebody who going to be able to experience these things with me. Okay, she said, first of all, I don't and need. That's, and that's Kay. All right, so next up, we have Jay. Let's find out why she Knees love. Oh, she cool hey, what up, what up? What's going on? It's your girl Juice. Reckless 25 on Instagram. I want to go ahead and just submit a little 60 second clip as far as why I think I need love. Um, you know, I'm new to Atlanta from Kentucky. I've been here two years, you know, so finding someone or, you know, looking for what I need is not always easy, you know. Um, really trying to still meet people and get around, get myself out there. Um, I work in healthcare technology. I'm a personal chef. I love to cook for my lady. Like, I love to, you know, cater to a woman, treat her right. So I'm really just trying to, you know, find what I need and get in where I fit in and, you know, get that love going. Okay. If you know how to cook, you might have it because that's, that's really all I need. Mean, you know how to cook. No, I'm talking for me. Oh, oh that's good. okay. I was saying, you know how to cook for me personally. Like, I love a woman that can cook, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think she's yeah. Yeah. All right, so up next, we got Kylie Musician. What I know about her, seems like a nice person, you know what I mean? And she can sing, so I think she might be able to. So we got the chef, we yeah. got the singer. Yeah. Okay. We, we doing good over here. Let's see what we let's, let's see where Kylie was. The Dreamland Productions, this is Kylie Musician, and this is the reason why I need love. I need love because love is positive and pure. Love going to love and trust me even when they not sure. Love going to be the one I just cuddle and rub on and hug. Love not just going to give up. She going to be here no matter what. 
I need love because love going to keep me on my toes. Love got to be the only thing to keep me from my hoes. <laughs> love is like a tree. We going to plant it and watch it grow. Love going to be the reason I need it and that I know. My love is like the ocean. I can spread it far and wide. I know you've been hurt, love, but I'll keep you by my side. Yeah. <laughs> that was cute. That was super Did a whole cool. like poem. I like her. I like that she is good with her words. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if that's how she expresses herself all the time. Or is she using her words to just, you know, get what she wants. And then. Ooh. Okay. Kyle, let me find out. We have Skylar. Um, let's see why she needs some love. And what we can do for Sky. Okay. Yo, yo, what's up, ladies? My name is Sky. I'm 28 years old, originally from Dallas, Texas, living out here in the Atlanta area for a year. Um, I've been single for three years, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm ready for love. I'm not. I don't need love. I'm ready for love, and I want love. You know. Um, I believe in soulmates. So I'm at a point in my life where. I'm not selling, you know, I know exactly what I'm looking for. I know exactly what I want and I know exactly what I need. And, uh, you know, that pretty much summed that up. I asked you. She gave me good vibes. I have a question. You might be able to answer this. Okay. Is it like, is it a stud thing? To lick your lips. Okay. <laughs> so you want it. All right. Yeah. This right here, like, that's it, a, it might be a nervous thing to her, like, you know, trying to figure out what to say. See, I've seen you. I've seen you wrap your hands. You call me stuff. I think that you're a very assertive woman. I like her vibe, her energy. Sky's cute. Oh, yeah, Sky's like cute. I'm just love. curious about this that thing. Though. This thing, it's the lips, lips, the hands, it's and the lips for me. It is. <laughs> ah, Sky. That part. All right, let's find out why Ricky Rich needs love. Hey, you know what's going on? Your favorite street pubs, Ricky Rich. You dig? And you know what I'm saying? 24 years old, single ladies. I'm single. I'm Virgo. You know what I'm saying? Why I'm single, I don't know. They say I'm the problem. I think it's them. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing to it but to do it. And you know what I'm saying? Everything will be better when you waking up to a real motherfucker next to you. That's what I always say. But everybody don't think the same. Like that. You know what I'm saying? But I want to go on Girls Need Love because I'm looking for love. You looking for love. Maybe we can match. You got to be funny, fine. You ain't gotta be smart. Fuck you. Ain't gotta be smart. You gotta be funny. You gotta laugh at all my jokes. If you ain't laughing at my jokes, I don't think I don't think we can do it. She's fun. Yo, she is hilarious. She's fun. But her yeah. saying like she's a Virgo, and then everything else she said after that, like that's a Virgo to to the core. Like yeah, she's crazy. No, I dated a Virgo, and yeah, they are. Uh, <laughs> they are. Uh, they're fun. They're fun. You know? 10 plus years. And then I know couples who are very much so like, you do your thing, I do mine. We come together. We yes. have this thing going and their relationship is perfect for them. Right? Yeah. I think it's a matter of you. So it's amazing to learn yourself, mm -hmm. but it's also even more so amazing to like not let situations change who you really are. Because you might just be wired that way. You may just need certain things that everybody don't need. Right. So, come on, this yeah, we, we just, we just, just don't know. You just don't know. I'm excited. Shouts out to Dream Yeah, we got some Dream Because they are helping make it happen. Because girls need love. You got Bread Love. You got Dreams Love. So, look, thank you once again for everyone that submitted your videos. Thank you, everyone, who told their friend, hey, you could be on the show. Once again, I am Bread Love. I'm your girl, Jersey Mulan. And Girls Need Love is coming. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay lit. Hello everyone, as promised, we are here today to bring you the newest LGBTQ matchmaking show, Girls Need Love. Yes, thank you to everyone who submitted a casting video. We are so excited to share with you everything that we have in store. Interviewing women to basically get a better understanding of what they're looking for in order to make sure that we match them with the perfect woman. So let's get into it. We have Kai. Check it out. Come on, Kai. Welcome to Girls Need Love. Good. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you? You're looking great. Okay, you're looking nice. Let's get it to you, man. So we're just basically going to ask you additional questions to see what you're looking for in a partner. Right. Because our whole goal is to match you successfully. That's so We like love stories. No, we love love stories. We love love stories. 
say, well, hopefully y'all give me a good match. You know, okay. I got faith in y'all. Hopefully yes. you're a good match for right. your match. It's a two-way situation. Let's get into self, okay? Because that's very important to have self-awareness, self-improvement, okay? So, what is your love language? My love language, I guess, is I'm, I'm different. So language itself, like, it just depends on how you talk to me, how we talk to each other. That's gonna show the love right there. Okay. So, Kai, what is your communication style? Are you upfront? Are you passive? Mm -hmm. Depending on the issue, I'm a pass on it, so I'm passive. Mm -hmm. And um, but when it comes to what I want and what I expect from other people, I'm very upfront. But you don't like confrontation. I don't do confrontation. Okay. I kind of move like Obama, like I just smile at you and walk on. All right. So we have our next contestant here on Mostly. Right, we have Simba. Yeah. Damn, yeah, Simba coming in looking like a whole vacation. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Where we at with it? How you doing tonight? What's up? What's up? What's up? How you going? I feel good. I feel good. Are you ready for some love? Oh, I'm always ready for love. Is love ready for you? Okay. <laughs> wow. okay. Right. So we're going to hop right into it. I'm going to talk about some things right now to figure out what we can do to find the right person, the right woman. Okay, okay so answer truthfully. Always. All right. Let me tell you cute answers. Question number one. <clears throat> what would constitute as a perfect date for you? Um, plain and simple. Uh, somebody that I have chemistry with and more importantly, somebody that I can make it through the whole day with without finding something wrong. Because I'm very picky. If she laughs wrong, I'm out. If she smiles wrong, I'm out. If her weave is wrong, I'm out. Like, I'm very, very picky. So it's just like, if I can make it through the whole day and yes. I just find anything negative, nothing wrong with you, oh, we good. Yeah. So you would like this. What's that? I don't even know. You be ready to go? No, no. Like, <laughs> I actually don't even go on dates until uh -huh. I know that. Like, I'm interested in the person because, like, I'm not about to waste my time. I'm okay. like, trying to go out with a female that just wants to take me out. No, I know I'm not interested. Like, yeah. you're my own food. All right. So, you don't like free meals? I do. I but mean, I, I, mean, like, I don't want to waste my money. Like, I don't want to take No, but she said that someone like, took her out. I feel like women okay. are kind of like has like a guy's mentality because it's just mm -hmm. like they're taking me out, but they expecting something a little bit more. <laughs> Okay. And she was cute. Okay. So I thought she would be something. She was 
boring and she didn't smell good by the mouth. Are you like one of those people that like every two seconds like, huh, I gotta smoke? Okay, before I go to the store, I need to smoke. Before we go to the club, let me smoke first. Before I go to work, let me smoke first. <laughs> Welcome you guys to Girls Be Love and we are wrapping it up with our last contestant. Hopefully we will be finding some love match from her group. So we will no longer be click. so we can get a better idea of finding you the perfect match because that's why you're here, right? That's exactly why. Yeah, I need the parties for the bad. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's go into it. All right, so first question, what would constitute as a perfect date for you? Uh, a nice ambiance, amazing conversation. I like to learn something new. It's like, oh, paper. <laughs> We could have to be like, involved in food. It could just be somewhere with a nice light and a nice conversation. Okay. All right, so um, what are some pros about yourself? Um, some pros. I would not say everything, but I would even go to do myself. <laughs> Specifically. Like but right. honestly, I don't know. I just have a free energy. I just try to spread love, smile to people. Like, I literally wake up and be like, what good can I do today? Oh, oh, that's what's up. That's cute. Okay, you like smiling at people. Are you a flirty person? See, now, I don't have this construed for a too friendly with flirting because I'm a very friendly person. Like, So you're a natural flirt? I, I wouldn't say that, though. Some people would. It depends on who I'm with. Like, one girl I was talking to, she was like, you way too funny. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah nice. You're just really nice. What's your communication style? Not just the lovey dovey, but like when shit gets real. Like, what's your communication style? Uh, I bring it to the front door, honestly, but it's not in a festive manner. It's like, it, I just talk about it. Um, and a few of my relationships, a lot of my partners need a space. Like, they wouldn't want to talk about it. Like, as soon as I was, like, I'd be like, I have to wait, but at the end of the day, we don't have this conversation. <laughs> so, these are 15 minutes or your hour. Yeah. No, because we're going to come back and we're going to get to the bottom of this one. Okay, well, as long as you ain't coming around this with no baggage. Okay. You think we can find yeah. someone, you know what I mean? We heard yeah. a lot today. We are excited to, to see what we can do for you. Yeah. Nah, I'm excited. I need that one, and I'm trusting you, Brad. We got you. See if God knows. Yeah, we good, we good. Thank, Thank you, you so much, you. Jam. We appreciate you taking the time. Girls, we love. For those who are not aware, I'm your host, Britt Love. And I'm your host, Jersey Milan. And, and this, this is, is Girls, Girls We Love. Girls like you. Well, that means you got some money. But Tyler, that's cheap, you know. Very white socks. Pretty white socks. I just had my little one little get to know situation, so I'm looking forward to some more. I know they're beautiful. I don't know what they look like. You know what I mean? But I was really feeling contested on them, too. Um, I don't know who, uh, I, who asked me questions. Mm -hmm. 